Good morning, Eighth Standard. I hope you all are fit and fine at home. Now today we are going to start our first chapter in English language, and the chapter's name is Subject and Predicate. Now let's see the meaning of subject first. It tells us who or what the sentence is about. Whenever we mention someone in the sentence, that is called subject. Example: Rahul is jumping. on the bed now over here rahul is your subject why because we are mentioning rahul in the sentence that is why rahul is your subject clear now let's move on to the predicate it tells us something about the subject whatever the subject is doing in the sentence that is known as your predicate example rahul is jumping on the bed Rahul is your subject. What Rahul is doing is your predicate. Is jumping on the bed is your predicate. Clear, everyone? Now let's see some more examples. All the students in the class are making noise. Now here, what is your subject? Now subject is all the students in the class. This is your subject. because we are mentioning students of the class in this sentence rest of the part of the sentence is your predicate clear now next lion is roaring in the jungle lion is mentioning in the sentence so over here lion is your subject rest of the part is your predicate it tells what line is doing actually clear everyone so subject it tells us who or what the sentence is about predicate it tells us something about the subject clear students now check out the video and we do a quick revision subject and predicate in every sentence we mention a person place or thing and then we say something about that person place or thing it means that in every sentence we have subject as well as predicate the person place or thing we mention is the subject and whatever we say about the person or thing is the predicate now look at the sentences below these are your examples the fishermen are catching fish i live in mumbai lucy is playing piano in the first sentence the fisherman is the subject and are catching fish is the predicate which tells us what the subject that means the fisherman is doing in the second sentence i is the subject and live in mumbai is the predicate next sentence lucy is the subject is playing piano is the predicate now next topic in the chapter is compound subject and predicate what is compound subject let's see when there are two or more subjects in a sentence and they are joined by conjunctions are called compound subjects everybody knows what are conjunctions or but also both and not only but also neither nor either or etc these are your conjunctions so when we main sentence and if there are two or more subjects in a sentence and then two they are joined by conjunctions they are called compound subjects let's see the example rahul and raj go to the same school now over here we we have two subjects one is raj and one is rahul and these two subjects are joined by the conjunction and so raj and rahul do 
subjects join with the help of and with the help of conjunction so raj and rahul go to the same school go to the same school is your predicate and over here raj and rahul is your compound subject next example neither the curtains nor the cushions match the walls now over here we have two subjects and those subjects are curtains and cushions two subjects are there the curtains the cushion and these two subjects are joined by conjunction and conjunctions are neither nor rest of the part of the sentence is your predicate so over here we have two subjects which are joined by conjunction so this is what compound subject means got it students is it clear to everyone let's move on to the compound predicate let's see what is the meaning of compound predicate when there are two or more predicates in a sentence and they are joined by conjunctions are called compound predicate now compound predicate is as same as compound subject in compound subject we have two subjects along with the conjunction same over here in compound predicate we have two predicates along with conjunction let's see the example gorav not only plays chess but also badminton now over here subject is only one gorav and conjunction not only but also but over here we have two predicates plays chess badminton so this is called compound predicate compound predicate means when there are two or more predicates in a sentence in this sentence we have two predicates and they are joined by conjunctions we have conjunctions not only but also so this is your compound predicate now let's move on to the next example the cat climbs the tree and sleeps on the branch now over here we have only one subject that is the cat and over here two predicates climbs the tree sleeps on the branch so we have compound predicates and these two compound predicates are joined by conjunction and conjunction is at clear everyone compound predicate good so check out the video and we are going to see the next topic in our next session by the time take care stay home stay safe compound subject and compound predicate let's see compound subject sometimes a subject may be more than one thing or person they have more than one noun or pronoun and are called compound subjects example debra harry and i watched the movie over here debra harry i these are compound subjects next example yellow stickers all photographs and glitter covered annie's diary here also we have compound subjects and these are yellow stickers all photographs glitter now let's move on to the compound predicate what is compound predicate sometimes one subject may be doing more than one thing there may be more than one verb and these are called compound predicates let's see the example betty walks along the ocean and admires the waves over here we have single subject 
walks along the ocean and admires the waves are your compound predicates mary sings and whistles to a song here mary is subject we have single subject and we have predicates two predicates sings and whistle to the song check out the summary 